Greetings from Kuala Lumpur, the capital city here in Malaysia. We're right next door to the Petronas Twin Towers. We're at the Surya KLCC. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat, so let's go. Chinese New Year is a few weeks away here in Malaysia. They get all the decorations here at the mall. We've come down to the first floor. There's a food court here. We're gonna go find some food. $12.91. All right, thank you. We've found, I guess this is the local spot. I, I think it's pronounced Bunkus Kau Kau. It's more of a drink place, but they've also got some food that we're gonna check out. Ordered a couple of the traditional meals here, Nasi Lemak. The kids are gonna try that, and I'm also gonna eat one, and Nicole ordered some noodles. After this, we're gonna head over to the KLCC Park and let the kids have some fun. Got our first part of our order already. It's the drinks, and we got some boiled eggs for the kids as well. So they serve the drinks in bags here, which is interesting, but it's actually pretty cool. You just take your straw, and then you put it into the bag, and you drink it that way. Got the kids some lemon tea, which they have thoroughly enjoyed since we've been here. All right, buddy, I got one for you and one for you, sis. I will help you with the straws in just a second. Daddy, I can open myself. You can open I straws by yourself? Me too. All right, let's see it. Oh, sis got hers. Two different techniques, I see. Oh, I'll finish. All right, bud, you try that tea and tell us what you think. I think it's epic. I epic. sure keep drinking. All right. I got, I guess it's like a tea and a coffee mix. I'm gonna try that. It's an interesting combination. Let's see. They have different options here for the sugar. You can do original, you can do a 25% or a 50%. We went with original on ours. That's interesting. It's like a lemon tea and a coffee flavor infused together. But I like it. And now we have our nasi lemak. It's a rice with some, I don't know exactly what's on top of it, but let's try it out. We got two of those and Nicole got some noodles, which is gonna be coming up soon. Oh, you already got those? Okay, let's open it up and see what it is. Okay, yeah, we already have the noodles. So you just open them up and dump them and they make a pyramid of noodles there. You wanna try them, sis? Wow, it's amazing. You but like? It's spicy. Oh, it is? I was curious if it was spicy or not. I think it might be spicy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you first bite into it, it's not spicy. But the spice comes at the end. And right now it's like burning and prickling on my tongue. Oh, get you some tea. So I'm having nasi lemak, which is the national dish here in Malaysia. <clears throat> it is, it's, it's spicy. It has kind of a fish flavor to it. I'm not exactly sure what the sauce is inside. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to this taste and the spiciness once again. I'm gonna enjoy this. What do you think? I haven't tried it. I'm just sorting out white rice with the kids. Oh. <laughs> but it does taste fishy. Are you going to try it, bud? I am. Oh, look. Go for it. Can I try? You don't like it? It's a little spicy. spicy. It's a little spicy. No, it's not spicy. Great. Do you like it, sis? Great job, girl. Is it spicy? Why do you call it spicy? There is a little bit of spicy in the sauce. I know. You got an egg there you can eat though, bud. I'm gonna try the brown part. That's the yolk. Mm. Good? Get your bellies full and then we'll go play. Not too far, I hope. The price in here is very economical. The total here for this lunch is about nine dollars. Right, let's go, guys. Pretty good lunch. My mouth is on fire right now. The drink was nice and delicious, though, so I got it a little bit cooled off. 
but it, the kids finished their teas. They didn't really like much of the food, but we'll go get them a little something else here from the mall before we head on over to the KLCC park. Auntie Anne's. We found something familiar for the kids. They'll get a pretzel or some pretzel dogs just for uh, this afternoon snack. They had a nice nutritious breakfast this morning. We are still working on expanding their taste buds. I think that'll come as we try more and more new foods as we travel, but they still like to stick to their staples, chicken, fries, some fruits, cheese, yogurts, things like that. But still haven't really been able to get them to try a lot of the Southeast Asian foods. They did pretty well in Bali with like a mi goreng and nasi goreng. Uh, but since we've been in Thailand and the Philippines and here in Malaysia, they're not really willing to go outside of their comfort zones yet. They do try things, they just don't like much. We are just getting now a pretzel, and when we finish it, we are planning on going to the park, but I don't know if we have enough time. Why, because it might rain? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's 100% gonna rain the whole day, it says on Mommy's phone, and... Seven. 70% and I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, right? Yep. We'll see if the weather holds out for us. Hopefully it will. We'd like to go let the kids play around at the park some and check out more of Kuala Lumpur here. If it's not raining, we can go on the playground and do a little and do a little show there. Yeah? Thanks right. for watching. <laughs> Meta. <laughs> Enjoy. That was cool. They were making ice cream over there. All right, you guys ready to go check out the park? Oh. Uh, look, bud. No. It's absolutely pouring. Oh, man. Our plans are ruined. So today we are continuing our exploration of Kuala Lumpur and what better place to start than the famous Merdeka Square. In this very field was the place where the Union flag was lowered and the Malaysian flag was raised for the very first time in 1957 and the independence of Malaysia was declared. So it's a very special place. And another fun fact is that flagpole that holds the Malaysian flag up there is the tallest in the entire world. Get under there with Sissy. What? I think it's so hot, we'll definitely have to get some ice cream. It's another hot day, but we're out. We're gonna explore Kuala Lumpur some more. We just came from Merdeka Square. Now we're gonna head over to the Sultan Abdul Temple. I think it's close today. Today is the eve of Chinese New Year. Most of the city has gone home or to their family's homes to participate in the Chinese New Year tradition. There's gonna be fireworks every night until midnight for the next several nights, supposedly. We'll see. I think it's at night, baby, when you're in bed already. So we should get to see some fireworks, but hopefully it won't keep the kids up too late. Uh, but it's gonna be a fun time, the Chinese New Year. It's the year of the dragon. I always like dragons, so that's pretty cool. We're trying to stay in the shade because it's hot. What is it, guys? Fishies. Fishies? Fish daddy. There's snakes daddy. and lizards. Snakes and lizards? Oh, beware of wild animals. And look, look how these fish come up. This area is so peaceful and serene. Right along the river here, the mosque is right across there. It is close today, so we're not gonna make the trek across the bridge to check it out any closer. We got a good view of it from here. Right behind me is another structure for the Sultan Abdul Ahmad. Said that four million bricks were used in the construction of the building and they were tossed up two at a time to the brick layers and not a single brick was dropped. That's hard to believe, that's a lot of bricks, four million bricks. But who knows, maybe it's true. Back here, 
we have currently the world's second tallest building. I don't know how long this is gonna last. I think there's one in construction right now that's gonna surpass it, but still pretty cool. Along it, with that and the Petronas Twin Towers, the skyline here in Kuala Lumpur is quite impressive. There's a cool painted building by the water here where we're walking along the boardwalk. Sammy spotted it and said, Daddy, that's a fake building. <laughs> Because when we were in Mexico City, they had buildings that were painted, that were under construction, and they thought that they were fake. But this one's real, it's just got a cool painting on it. We're gonna make our way along this boardwalk over to the Central Market, which isn't too far of a walk. What'd you get, sis? Uh, one of these. Oh, that looks yummy. I know, I'm gonna try it. All right. What'd you get, bud? The same. Hang on. One of those two? All right, yeah, we're gonna go cool off. All right, it's gonna get cooler, okay? <laughs> so you're over here passing out. <laughs> Thank you. All right, sis got her a little sweet treat here, and now she's gonna try it out. Bite it though. Is that a yes or a no? Are you gonna finish it or no? You don't like it? What's it taste like? First. Chocolate with cheese. Chocolate with cheese? Oh, you gonna try it now, bud? <laughs> I think that's a yes for Sawyer. You like it, bud? All right, enjoy, buddy. No, 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 I'm good for now. You wanna try it? Is it, as Sammy described, chocolate with cheese? It's cream cheese with like a pie outing and some maybe melted Nutella on top. It's amazing. Get to some AC, guys. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Don't blow Sawyer away. Oh, no. Oh, no, sis. It's blowing sis away. Wow, this place is quite large, but we're gonna go find some ice cream. We've made our way up to the food court. It's on the second level, pretty easy to find. And we found some ice cream. Kids got some vanilla ice cream. I got an iced mocha. It's got some ice cream on top of it. Nicole got a Diet Coke. It's gonna cool us off a little bit. Now the kiddo's gonna try some ice cream. Try it out, bud, and tell us how it is. I think I like this vanilla one more than any of the my more than any of the vanilla ones I ever had. In yeah, my that's life. your favorite. Yeah, it almost tastes. World? Yes, it almost tastes like coconut. Coconut. Ice coconut cream. ice cream. Uh, yummy, yummy. All right, sis, you try it out. Oh, you're already eating. <laughs> All right. What do you think about it? Yummy. Double thumbs up with a with a foot up. All right. All right. Enjoy, guys. Nicole's retrieving mine now. Here we go. <laughs> I got my ice mocha. It's got a ball of vanilla ice cream on top of it. Let's try it out. Oh, that's delicious. You want to try it? Get you some ice cream in there, too. I think we should get some ice cream and some coffee. That's a great idea, bud. Nicole's not usually a fan of coffee. But she likes this. I'll share it with you. Thank you. All right, so you can see how hot it is. This is reading 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels like 106 degrees. That's pretty hot. The weather in Kuala Lumpur seems to be either scorching hot or pouring. <laughs> this is what my dad used to do when, when he was a little kid. He used to mix, mix it up when he into and chill it, melt it like milkshake. That's right, bud. Mixy, mix, 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 mix. Doesn't mine look yummy? What about mine? 
He's like spreading a whole milkshake. All right, we got nice and cold off here with our ice cream. We got some water to drink. We're gonna walk around here a little bit and then we are heading over to Petaling Street over in Chinatown. We're excited to check out Chinatown. Show it to me, bud. It's blue. Your favorite color. Oh, very cool. You got one too, sis? All right. Mommy, do you want one? I have one. Oh, Sawyer so already got me one. Oh, oh beautiful. Yeah. We've got some cloud cover. Heading over to Chinatown now. We're going to go to Petaling Street and check out the market. Yeah. <laughs> Sawyer's so looking for some new sunglasses. Oh, those are pretty cool, bud. Are those cool, dude? He was one of the sunglasses. You like those, bud? How much are they? Negotiate with him, Sawyer. I, I give him 20, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay. <laughs> he went from 25 to 20. All right, bud. You want? You want? Sawyer, show me your sunglasses, bud. They're polarized, too. They fit pretty good. They look cool, bud. Those are polarized, too, so you know what? Those will look really cool. Those help in the sun a lot. There you go. You know what? Daddy needs some sunglasses too. I still haven't replaced the ones I lost from the Tuk Tuk when we were in Bangkok. Those are too small for me, buddy. I'll get some bigger ones, but thank you. One of the shows that the kids like recently is Mr. Bean. Either the cartoon or the old school Mr. Bean or the movies, and they've got teddies here. We usually spend about a month minimum wherever we're going, and we tend to accumulate a little bit while we're there at each place, so we have to purge every time we leave somewhere. We're trying to teach the kids how to negotiate a bit here. I think Sammy just got a price knocked down some. What do you say, guys? Hey, how much did you talk him down on that? Paid 40 instead of 60. You talked him 20, ring it down. There you go, that's a way to negotiate, guys. Hi. Oh, that was What's sweet of him. Name? My name's Mr. Bean. E <laughs> My name is Mr. Bean. Can you hold this? We gotta be very careful, or the kids are gonna start negotiating everything that they try to buy. And we're gonna end up buying a lot of stuff, but I think we're done buying things here. Might get a little bit more to eat, but this market's got a lot more to go. Let's go check out the rest of the market. They can also look into stuff. They can They're like x-ray vision? They, yeah, they can do like all kinds of super cool stuff. That's awesome. I want some glasses like that. Okay. Will you share those they, with me? No, they no. only do it to me when I wear Ah, glasses. okay, I see. Because I'm special. Well, they look super cool on you. They match your shirt. <laughs> Everyone's asking for Teddy. I also like this a bit. This shake is here. Oh, I found some cold drinks. The water we got earlier was not cold, unfortunately, so it's still pretty hot. I'll hold, I'll hold your teddies. It's a hot day, huh, guys? I want to drink from this one. Mm, thanks, sis. I can always buy new drinks. Sharing is caring. <laughs> I drink it at the same time. Uh, thanks, buddy. 
Congratulations. You guys are doing a pretty good job for being so hot. You guys are hanging in there. Good job. Fist bump. Teddy wins a drink. Good job. Give Teddy a drink. All right, let's go. Right, so we're just going for chocolate bananas. Banana gift chocolate. My sister doesn't like bananas. I did, but now I don't. What's your name? My sister's four. Four. My sister's five and I'm four. And my sister's like six. Yeah. This one is eight ringgit. Eight ringgit. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Banana with chocolate yeah. on it. Yummy. I hope you like it. It's a lot of banana. Oh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. That's all you're yeah. My gosh. Okay. How many is she putting in there? I give you much. Okay? Oh boy. You're giving me so much chocolate. Yeah, we're good. Ask her where she's from. Where are you from? Indonesia. Indonesia. You're from this city? No, Indonesia. Oh, oh where, Indonesia. Do you know what's what's in Indonesia? Look at my. You want? Yeah. We were in Bali. Bali. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kaka, I'm from Bali. She's from Bali? Yeah. yeah. She's from Bali, guys. Yeah. Do you travel the world to sail this? Or do, yeah. you, or do you stay in this city and sail this? Oh. I travel oh, now she's putting some cheesy on there. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of cheese all right there. Does that look good, bud? Yeah, it looks very good. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough of cheese. <laughs> no more cheese. Right? Pay her. Money first. <laughs> keep the change, keep the change. No. Oh, dia kasih katanya dua ringgit. Huh? You give the kakak two ringgit. You give the kakak two ringgit. Yes. Yes. Two ringgit. Say, okay. say six ma. Six ma. Okay. We weren't expecting to get chocolate banana with cheese on it for dinner. <laughs> Which one, guys, do you want me to eat? Whichever, Whichever one you want. You Just want. pick one and eat it. I'm going to eat this one. Huh? Yeah. He's a cool You don't like it? That's you a lot of... swallow it? Hang on. Maybe he changed his mind? You don't like it? But that's a lot of chocolate bananas that need to get eaten. Oh, man. But I guess I'll try it out. Oh, they're cold. I expected them to be warm for some reason. It's not bad. If the bananas were warm, it would be much better. But I'm not going to eat it. I don't want it. And it'll go in the trash. We went all the way down Petaling Street where the markets are. They made it kind of hard. Once you start on one side, you kind of got to go all the way down to get on the other side. But we come down a couple streets, and here is where all the food is. What's this, salami? It looks like it. It's the salsa she likes. They're going to cook it up for, I think it's just pork salami. Sawyer, do you want some broccoli? Is that a yes? That's a no. A no? Okay. Alright, Sawyer changed his mind and he will like some broccoli and some cauliflower. So I got some pork salami sis is going to try. Sawyer got some broccoli and Nicole got some cauliflower. Got some fresh cauliflower. Use a little salt, but it's otherwise really yummy. Teddy! Sawyer chopped his teddy. He'll live, buddy. Try your broccoli. Don't put the whole thing. Bye. I think he likes it. That's one thing we don't have to worry about him eating, is broccoli. Good job, buddy. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I haven't had this before, but it looks pretty good. You can do barbecued fried lock lock. You pick a uh, protein or meat from here, and then they fry it up for you. And then there's all kinds of other stuff over here, seafood, vegetables, that gets boiled. All right, sis, let's try your sausage. Yeah, I kind of like 
like it. Are you going to eat it? Yeah, why not? Why not? Enjoy, baby girl. You want me to videotape you eat that yeah. broccoli? Can you, can you get that video off of me? Daddy, I don't want this. I don't want that. All right, we're doing a new video. You ready? Right. <laughs> Silly boy. I lost it. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner, guys. All right, guys, we got dinner for the kiddos. We'll figure something out later for us. Probably just a smoothie for the evening. I'm not hungry. We ate a pretty decent sized lunch before we headed out this afternoon. It's been a very exhausting day exploring Kuala Lumpur. It's been a very hot day, but I'm glad we came out. I'm glad we get to explore some more. Thank you. Found it. Tell me about your sheet that you made this morning, sweetie. Would you like to see it? Yeah, let's see it real quick. The sheet's boys to play bingo when you see an animal that is on here, you have to exit out. And what happens if we get a bingo? We buy ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> All right, so let's keep our eyes open for the animals. So we can get some ice cream. Sammy had this brilliant plan this morning. While we were getting ready, she wanted to make a bingo sheet of all the animals that she wants to try to find today. And when we find one, we'll mark it out on the paper. And then once we get a bingo, we're gonna get some ice cream later. So we're excited to go explore today. And we're excited to play some animal bingo here at Zoo Nagara. We'll bring you along with us, so let's go. Triple the price for foreigners. Oh, is that why it's so expensive? All right, I saw Nicole getting the tickets and I saw how much money she was giving and I was doing the calculations. So the exchange right here is about 460 per uh, dollar. It's rigot is the currency here. And so it costs around $60 to get into the zoo, which is a lot more than most zoos we go to, but they have a special price for foreigners, which we weren't aware of. So it is what it is. Kiddos got their maps. Now we're gonna go find some animals. Look at the map. Oh, oh they have giant pandas here? Yeah, and guess what? I wanna go to the monkeys because I have Wow, so they have giant pandas here. The last time we saw giant pandas at the zoo was in Mexico City and we didn't really get to see them that well, so I'm excited that we'll get to go see a giant panda. Sammy, did you put giant panda on your bingo card? Yes. You did? Awesome. I put just a little panda. Oh, a little panda? But I did, but I did put panda. Is it a kung fu panda? Panda. Or is it just a regular panda? If you want to go to the giraffe, you can go up and then you're at the giraffe. Nice. Hey. Thank you. So the kids did some crafting this morning and each of them made me a bracelet. That's why, <laughs> That's why I'm wearing those. All right, you guys ready? I want, yeah. All right, go. All right, go. Okay, go. Okay, go. Okay, go. Thank you. Did you know on the way to the elephants, guess what? There's what? like a little spooky cave. A spooky cave? Where? Um, Do you see that on the map somewhere? Right here. We're going to go Oh, away. Cavepedia. Guys, the pay you want my ears to blow? <laughs> so you want some binoculars so you can see better? Yeah, I want the red one. Instead buy of a hat? It. Yeah, buy it. So Sissy gets a hat and you get binoculars? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool. How do you like it? Yeah, Let's go check out the bird. Whoa! I can see so good in this. Do you have a bird on there? There's the bees and here's the bird. So I'm just going to press that out. Our first one. Okay. After a half an hour, we're now ready to go see some animals. Sissy got her hat. Show them what it does. Hello. <laughs> Look. So you got some, oh, where's he at? Can you see me? I can see that you should try these on. Oh, let's try them out. Oh, there's Sis. Try in your eyes. It looks so cool. Oh, the bird just flew away. I saw him. Yeah, try to say something into my ear. Oh, hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, let's go. What is it? Oh, he's, oh, he's just loose. Cool. I feel like we're in Bali once again. They're just monkeys loose. I guess this is part of the zoo. So cool. Can you see it, bud? Oh, oh you had monkey on your list? Yep. Awesome. He wants to see the zebras next. Let's go see the zebras. Because I can see them with my binoculars. You see them already? Wait. Oh, do you guys want to check out this garden? Oh, it's an herbal garden. Look, I'm going to open my four ears. Let's go learn about some herbs, guys. Hey, look. You know what that is right there? Yes, pineapples. Yeah, that's a pineapple. They're, they're, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, bud, you see how that pineapple's that's growing? A in, uh, that's a drop in pineapple because no, I can not. see ants on it. No, there are some bugs on it, but look, it's growing. It is. 
So that's how a pineapple grows, that's if you ever so were sweet. curious. Monkeys in that tree? No, if you stand here, you can see them all. All like the little creatures, and then you can see them sometimes running. Oh, I see. Aww, it's where the animals are. <laughs> awesome. You heard something this way? Actually, it's this way. Oh, it's this way? Oh. Can someone tell me what kind of tree this is? Uh, banana tree. Good job, bud. That's and right. Oh, oh hang on, look. There's a little iguana or something there on the tree. Sis, right in front of you on the tree there. Look behind you. Come check him out, bud. Let's see what this vulture is. All right, let's go check it out. Look how this looks. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's like a telescope. Are these storks? That's Look, right. guys, a mammal! <laughs> mammal climbing up the tree! Look behind you, what is there? Guys, what is it, sis? A giraffe. Daddy, I have a giraffe right on my list. Oh, look, there he goes. Look. Oh, he's a little one. Oh, you don't need it, Benny. If you see a hippopotamus or a turtle, you tell me, because we can X that out. Oh, guys, look at that humongous mountain. Oh, I see. Way in the distance. Hey, look at this big tree. Right here. Yeah. Let's go see what kind of tree that is real quick. Look, my binocular sees this tree and guess what? What? It sees a bear. A bear? It's a ficus microcarpa. Or Malayan bayan. I like it. It's cool. Just there's a bear inside this tree. There's a bear in this tree? Yeah. Uh-oh, let's be safe. What do we have over here, guys? Come on, Bobby, put this on. You will hear it. Your ears will connect to this. And then you press, press this ear. Press this ear. And you will hear it. See? You hear it? Oh, what is that? That's a puff tree. This guy's sleeping? Watch out behind you, Sawyer. Oh, <laughs> These are emus. You guys want to go check out the birds? Right this way. You're welcome. You got ducks on your list? Oh, these are the ugly Florida ducks. Wait, I have ducks on my list. There's a duck right there. Oh, there's turtles over there too, sis. Turtles? I get to X my turtles out. So, ducks and turtles. Yeah, ducks and turtles I have. Daddy, look at me. See that black feather right there? That's from one of those little guys. Oh, yeah, he must have plucked it out, huh? I would like to ask yeah. it out. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, have we sold yeah. elephants yeah. yet? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's, here's my you. duck. Excuse you. <laughs> Let's go to the next section. We found our first reptile, Daddy. Jackfruit! Jackfruit! Jackfruit. Yeah, you can touch it. How could you have slice it open? You, like you just slice, slice it open and then the fruit's inside there. So maybe this is how it starts out, and then it gets to that, and then it grows into a big one. And guys, then it gets to like guys, that. And I then found, it gets eaten. Guys, I found a real dinosaur egg. A dinosaur egg? Daddy. Whoa. What is that, guys? Peacock, a tree. Is it a girl or a boy? That is a girl. The boys have the big feathers on the back. The girls do not. Is that a boy or a girl? Yeah, that one's a boy. Big bird over here. Look at his his uh, beak. That's golden. Can you see it, Sawyer? Oh, he's eating. Look, look how he eats. What are those, bud? Is that a chicken or a rooster? Uh, I don't know. It has like something on its face. Yeah. I can't guess. Do you know what she's doing down there? She has. She's pregnant. You think she might be laying on some eggs? Yes. In Florida, we had these, but they were always white. These are scarlet ibises. All right, last section of the bird aviary. Thank you. Okay, I see one colored fish in the whole pond. Do you see it? Where? Look for it. There it is. You found it? There he is. 
Yeah, it's beautiful. Let's make our way through the zoo a little faster. Let's mark off our animals and get some ice cream. Look, guys. Where's, where's Tiger? Tiger's right there. Look at him. Oh, look at him. All right, sis, mark the line off your list. I love the mane that you threw, Tammy. Okay, how close are we to getting a bingo? Oh, what's this? What? This is a snake. Oh, so we need to see a snake and then we get a bingo. Or a hippo, I think. Tiger on your list? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, let's keep our eyes out for the Daddy? tiger. Unfortunately, it looks like they're sleeping. Sis, I wouldn't go in there. That sign says, do not enter or you'll become my dinner. Daddy? Sammy, what's your favorite Daddy? animal? A cheetah. Uh oh. Let's see if we can find one. Daddy? Sis, I found him over here. Cheetahs don't attack humans. They usually just hunt for food. Do you see it, Sis? I want it. What are they trying to do? Trying to catch it? No. Just playing with their tail. The white tiger is up and prowling around. Unfortunately, a lot of the animals have been asleep so far, but this one's up and moving around. What do you think, sis? Did you know white tigers have the sharpest teeth than any of the animals in the whole wide world? They do. They do have some big sharp teeth, buddy. Do you know my favorite part from today was? What? Him pooping. <laughs> Seeing the tiger poop. My favorite part <clears throat> is we're about to get a bingo. If we just see the reptiles like a snake, we will get to get a bingo and eat some ice cream. Let's go see if we can find them. Let's go. Mama said it's straight this way. All right, let's go. Guys, what's that in front of us? Cheetah. No. What is it? Black Panther. There, we'll go get a closer look at them. Over here, baby. I'm gonna fly. This is how much I can fly. Can yeah. Go? Come here, I'll hold you up. No, I'm gonna fly. Okay. <laughs> look, look at her. Wow. All right, we've gotten to see a lot of the big cats at least. Got to see the tigers, got to see the lions. For Sammy's bingo game, we only need to find snakes and then we can get some ice cream. There's a snake in there. In there. Let's There's go see. Let's there. go see the reptiles. Then we can see finally the snake can get our first bingo for ice cream. Reptiles to get mine. That means he's bingo. Bingo. That's the book it out. Guys, we find dragonflies. We found giraffes. We found the duck. Last thing is to mark out my snake. Good job, sis. That's a great looking snake. Wait, one second. See how long this took. Just watch, watch his tongue. Did you see how, how long Do you remember what these are? No. Monitor lizards! Do you remember what city we saw them in? Hanoi. No, try again. Chiang Mai. Try again. Bali. Try again. Bangkok. This, Bangkok. Bangkok, yeah, they were all over the place. Daddy, Daddy, did you know monitor lizards? Oh, my favorite is animals. I didn't know that. Oh, what's he doing? He's so long. See, see this one's half is his body is inside the water. Oh, my. This is the one that I was talking about. This is the one I was going to go in the Daddy, he has the biggest hands in the, in the, in the back, and he has the tiniest hands in the front. I think she'll come up for air. What? I think he might come up for air. That's an alligator. It's a caiman. Caiman. I like caimans too. Oh, yeah, mommy's right. Oh, do you see the little covering come off his eye? Oh, yeah. All right, let's go get some ice cream. Let's check out all these deer real quick. Oh, you hear the noises they're making? Have you ever seen so many deer, bud? No, I haven't. Did you know the one with, with, the, with the horns are the, are, the, are the boys. The one without the horns are the girls. That's right. And there's so many girls. There's a lot of girls, huh? This one's trying to... <laughs> What's he doing? 
or she, I should say. There is so many out of there. Sammy, look, it's a baby. Look, she's feeding on her mama. One time we see out of mama's boobs. All right, guys, let's check out this restaurant. We've happened to stumble upon a restaurant. We came to check out the deer, and there's a restaurant right next to it. So we're gonna go get some ice cream, get some lunch. All right, we've got some chicken, some fries, some fish burgers. We get this wonderful view of seeing the deer right outside the window. Unfortunately, no ice cream here. So we're gonna have to wait for the ice cream and we'll get that after we eat our lunch. But we're gonna dig in and enjoy this meal and then we'll go get some ice cream. What'd you get there, sis? French fries, chicken nuggets, and I want this bowl. Awesome. Very soft. What do you got there, bud? I got French fries and chicken nuggets and and I want a monster eyeball. Ah, that's awesome. All right, enjoy your lunch. Enjoyed our meal. Now we are heading to see the giant panda, the elephants, and whatever else we can find while the zoo is still open. We just realized the zoo closes at 5 p.m. and it's already about 3.30. We missed the animal show because we took too long just wandering around and checking out all the different animals. So it's a big zoo. There's a lot to check out. Oh, oh wow, guys, remember where we saw these bees? Stingless bees. Where did we see the stingerless sting. bees at? We went down into a cave, we learned about them, we got to try the honey. The guy stuck the honey in his eye, remember? Oh, yeah. It burns a lot. Yeah. You're really sure you want to do it? put it in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You put it we in have here. to try yes. it. I... I'm going to give you a couple options. Was it in Florida? Was it in Bali or was it in Mexico? Mexico. Yeah. Guys, these uh, bees are not even bothering me. They, they won't don't bother sting you. you. They're stingerless, but remember, they can get into your hair and they lay all that stuff. Remember? And then the other. Get this one off. That's not a bee. Come. Come. Say bye, bees. What are these things? Remember? Oh, look, there's a cat at the bottom just hanging out. Bye. <laughs> Sawyer, do you remember what these are called, bud? These are the capybara. It's the largest rodent in the world. Oh look, he just went into the water. He's going swimming. What's over there, buddy? Oh, there's a over here. All right, let's see what it says. Okay, let's see. Hang on. Number five. True or false, sun bears are nocturnal, meaning that they're active at night, and spend most of the time during the day up in a tree sleeping. True or false? That is true. No, oh, sleeping. Look at that one coming. Oh, there's one inside there. He's playing with. What? Oh, I climbed up in the hole. We're going to try to find the giant panda. Wow, sorry. Look at this. This is how long his tongue is. Oh, it's so long. What's that thing? It was two of my favorite things. It's what is it, bud? My favorite animal. The, the ant eater. The ant eater? Yeah, I love it, the ant eater. He's okay, I didn't know that. Last time I knew your favorite animal was the flamingos. But it's okay, you can change your favorite animals as often as you'd like. What's making that noise? What? A flamingo. Are those still your favorite animals, Sawyer? What yeah. did you think the I threw in there? Oh, uh, Daddy? Yeah? Is that a spider web that's, that's yeah, trolling that way? I think way? so. These flamingos are American mix of American flamingos and pink flamingos. Guys, let's go find the giant panda. Come on. Okay. Kung Fu Panda. Kung what's what's Fu. Kung Fu Panda's name? Kung Fu. No. Oh, Dragon Master. But Dragon. what's his actual name? Um, Pooh. Po? Poe? Poe! <laughs> Pooh. Close enough. Pop quiz. What animal has really thick skin and a horn on its nose? Rhino! See a giraffe and two rhinos. A giraffe and two rhinos? It looks like they found a cafeteria. Maybe there's ice cream. Ice cream. Do they have ice cream, sis? Yep. Let me get an eyelash. 
blow, make a wish. Um. <laughs> what ice cream do you get, sis? I got rainbow. Me rainbow? Too. You got rainbow too? Yeah. How is it? It's very good. Would you like to try? You want them to try? Yeah. Feed it to them. Oh. <laughs> um, let me know in the comments down below how the ice cream is. I'm sure they enjoyed it. Thanks for sharing, sis. I'm making mine so flat. Mmm. Pop quiz. What animal has four legs? Stands tall and has a hump on its back. Mm, camels. 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 Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Oh, look, there's a camel there. How many stomachs a camel has? Do you remember? Two. Two. I'm going to go with two. Three. Yeah, it's true. I think it's right. Yes. Pop quiz. What type of animal did we eat Whoa. lunch with at the Bali Zoo? Ostrich. No. Remember he was walking with the guy and then he would stand... Oh, gorilla! Um, gorilla. It's kind of like Not a gorilla. Um, we don't remember the... Oh, wait, I think I remember. Orangutan! Yeah! Right there, eating the orangutan. Oh, yeah, he's up there. Mama! There's one right next to you eating! Where you going, Where you going? <laughs> wow. Daddy. Yeah. Can you keep doing the thing where we have to guess what animal you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Pop quiz. We saved the best for last. What animal did we have such a hard time seeing when we were at the zoo in Mexico? And then we walked around, walked around, walked around. The giant panda. Wow, that was a good one. Nailed it. Oh, we can stay for five minutes only, guys. Okay. Keep quiet. You have to go down there. Thank you. So we've saved the best for last. This actually is an international conservation project and it's the giant panda exhibit. We get to spend five minutes in here only. It's restricted. This is the only exhibit that we've seen that's restricted. So we're gonna make the best of it. Crazy. There's only 47 pandas in, in captivity outside of China in the whole world. Wow. That's what it says. Inside, guys. This is awesome. It's actually inside. It's air conditioned. It feels amazing. You see him, sis? What's he doing? Oh, he's so big and fluffy. What do you think about the giant panda? I think I like the panda so far about this one tower zoo. And I think this panda right here. Oh, look at him. Oh, I can't even talk about him. Sammy, what do you think about the giant panda? What I think is about this whole zoo is still the tiger um, in the water and pooping. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in this awesome atmosphere, living his life. So cool. All right. Five minutes are over, but that's the giant panda. Only two out of 47 
pandas in captivity outside of China. Wow. Today we're heading to Batu Caves here in Kuala Lumpur. It's about a 20 minute car ride, so we're gonna hop in a grab and we're gonna head over. Sammy's gonna help me film today with the GoPro. We've made it. The ride here wasn't so bad, but once you get here, there's a lot of traffic, so we've, we've topped that. We're walking down the sidewalk. Ready, sis? Yeah. So this is the entrance, as you can see. We got some food vendors set up here along the way. I got some clothing as well. A little incense burning. Oh, we got some ice cream, some smoky biscuits. No idea what that is. There are the stairs leading into the cave. More stairs than you imagined with the large golden statue. We're gonna walk up all those stairs, guys. I see that cave, it's like when we first came into the Sonote, it looks just like that. Yeah? This place has more stairs or less stairs than the other place, bud? Less. This has less stairs than the temple we went to in Chiang Mai? It looks like more. They got all kinds of shops set up here. Lots of sweets over there. I don't know what these are. Maybe these are like TV stands? Yeah, like furniture. Oh, it's like a whole market in here. So the entrance to Batu Caves is free. I did read that there are, I believe, four different temples. I'm not exactly sure. We'll learn about did that. Did you just say our cave? It's the main large cave that's about 200 steps up. Can only be entered with a guided tour, which I read is about $7 per person. So we're going to check it out, and it would be a nice break from the hot sun. It is hot. A lot of people have umbrellas or long sleeves, we didn't prepare for such that. a hot day. But and there's no clouds in the sky. So we're gonna get up into the cave, and cool off and take a- There is a lot of monkeys. As you can see, I forgot to mention that. We've heard the monkeys aren't quite as aggressive as the monkeys in Bali, but we're still gonna be safe because we've had some not so pleasant encounters with monkeys. Just got a monkey just hanging out here. There's quite a few of them in the trash, probably where they like to hang out. Give access. Oh, did you see that? Lots of pigeons here in the entrance. Oh, she just wants the bananas. It's okay, he just wants the bananas. They, they bought bananas to feed them, but she got a little scared. You can see that's pretty dangerous if you bring bananas. They would want to steal the bananas. I was a little scared. This is a really cool view though. Check this out. The statue is pretty cool. And the multicolored stairs, that's very cool contrast. So I saw an article the other day. They're gonna install an escalator here sometime this year that allows people to just ride up to the top here. Bubby, monkeys can come. Look, those monkeys stole, stole bananas from the girl. Sawyer, hold on to your hat, buddy. Oh, All right, we're about straight. to head up. All right, let's see what's not allowed. Or like a lot of Hindu temples women with short skirts or shorts are not allowed. No animals, no smoking, no running. What's that top one mean? So there's lots and lots of monkeys. They don't seem very aggressive, but have seen a couple grab things and run off, so we don't want another repeat of Bali's. Watch out, right there, right there, watch out. Oh, okay. All right, buddy, you ready to climb up these stairs? All right, here we go. We're starting ground level. We're gonna work our way all the way up. Ready? First steps. All right, let's go. I don't think I can make it to It was five steps, bud, come on. Sis, what do you think? Egg ball, I'm all over. Yeah, it's just, it's really hot, yeah. Oh, there's some big monkeys over there. All right, he's on the lookout. These guys just run up and grab stuff. Yeah, you gotta be so careful, as we've learned from experience. All right, ready, buddy? Break's over? Let's go. Let's make our way up. I got the best view in the house. All right, that monkey's coming over. Watch yourselves. Oh, he's got an injured leg. All right, sis. We're probably halfway there. Just gonna keep making our way up. Are you good? No boo. Right now boo. What? Right now boo. Right now boo? All right, it'll be worth it. These steps are pretty steep. Little break. We can take a break. 
Yeah, they're sneaky everywhere. Oh wow, look at the view already getting from up here, guys. We're almost as high as the statue. All right, making our way up some more. We'll take a break every two or three flights of stairs, get our energy going. Right, sis? I'm fine. All right. I'm Let's go. We're almost through the cave so we can feel cool. It's getting much cooler. It's not too bad now. We've got shade above us. And the temperature up here is much cooler. Oh, he got him a bag or something. Okay, we're gonna walk by this one. We're gonna be safe though. There's a lot up here at the top, hang out in that cage over there. This little guy I think is looking for some food. Hey bud. He's jealous because that other one got a bag of food. Oh, he's coming up. All right, let's, let's focus on getting up. Oh, cool. Look at the view from up here. One second. Come up here and look at the view. Wow. All right, we're above the statue now. All right, let's keep making our way up. I'm watching them. All right, focus. We're almost there. Ten more steps, maybe. Okay. Oh. Wow. All right. Wow, it's so much cooler up here. Okay, we made it up to the cave. As you can see. Here, we got some chickens and roosters. Look at this interesting statue with uh, maybe a peacock standing next to it. And a tree. I guess these are statues, but it's pretty cool looking. This statue's split in the head. Gotta be careful though, because there's monkeys wandering around everywhere. Oh, this one fell asleep. We made it to the entrance of the cave. It's got a nice cool breeze coming out. Feels good up here. It does stink though. It smells it smells like trash. Is the chicken what's making that noise? Nope, that was sister. Who made who made that noise? The chicken. The chicken or the rooster? The rooster. The rooster. There's like free roaming chickens and roosters in here and the roosters are doing their cock doo doo and <laughs> it's echoing, it's pretty cool. This here is the main temple. Beautiful. We cannot go there without shoes. At least you found something new. And you have to take off your shoes and take your socks. No, just your shoes. All right, bud. It's got a stench of trash, which isn't very pleasant. But the views are pretty amazing. This is a story. This is an active temple. It seems a bit discombobulated though. There's a lot of broken pieces laying around. There's a stairwell full of trash here and lots of loose pieces just lying around. Maybe they tend to it at the end of the day after everyone has come through. There's empty water bottles lying around. It's kind of dirty, but the artifacts here are pretty amazing. There's these beautiful peacocks set up everywhere. The banners, pretty cool. Yeah, you're, you're pro that's probably 100% right. So Nicole has just reminded me that there was a huge festival here at Batu Caves, over two million people for a Hindu festival. I completely forgot about that, so they're still probably cleaning up from that. Anyone have trash for me? I don't have any trash, but what do you think about the cave so far, buddy? Cool. <laughs> we are approaching another set of stairs, which goes up into the center of the cave here with a huge opening. We got a chicken fight. Yeah, chicken fight. All right, guys, let's go up this set of stairs here and find that rooster. Daddy. I feel like it's early in the morning because all the roosters are growing. Oh. Good job, guys. Almost there, sis. Good job, guys. I don't know if you can tell how, how large this is. There's some people down there for scale. That is the rooster making all the noise. Just watch him, he'll, he'll make the noise probably. <laughs> We've reached the top of the Batu Caves. 
We've come all the way in. There is a cave about halfway up the stairs, maybe three quarters way up the stairs called the Dark Cave. We saw that on our way up. The gates were closed, however. I'm not sure why it's not open today, but there is a guided tour. We were hoping to do that today. It does cost some money. You take a guided tour, you go through the cave. It's over one mile long, um, but unfortunately we're gonna miss that today. It has been pretty cool to come up here and check things out. We got Sis assisting with the film today using the GoPro. You guys will see many shots of us walking around. That's all sis. Thanks for helping, sis. Welcome, Daddy. What's this opening? Little pigeon? Maybe it's sleeping? Boo. Yeah, he's asleep. Daddy, don't wake up my friends. He's sleeping. <laughs> Step, please. Now we're gonna make our way down the stairs. Oh, there's a monkey. Oh wow, he just opened the bottle and he's drinking the water. Look, there comes another one. That was wild. He literally just op twisted the cap off, dumped the water out, and now he's drinking it. How long? How could a monkey drink? He's smart. He's sharing with his friend too. Oh, but he doesn't. Share. Oh, he just dumped it and left. What on earth? What on earth is he doing? They're scavengers. Daddy, what did you say? They're scavengers. What are scavengers? They go around and they take stuff that's not theirs in order to survive. Look, the monkeys are shaking the cave gates up there. Where? Over there, the dark cave. Oh, hello, monkey. Probably not, buddy. Oh, <laughs> he got wrapped up in some. Oh, <laughs> oh he's falling. <laughs> they seem pretty playful. Yeah, you see how many are up there? Jeez. I bet that's why it's closed. There must be a bunch of them in there. Daddy, you might want to be careful. He's just cleaning him. There seem to be a lot more monkeys now than on our way up. Daddy, did you say, did you say they, they seem pretty playful? Yeah. Then maybe we can distract one if it's trying to come and attack us. We can distract one with some toy, with some kind of toy if we bring any. Yeah. And, and then we can hurry and run down one. Yeah. While they're playing? Doesn't, yeah. That's a great plan. Oh, look at all the pigeons down there flying around. The dump truck dropped a dumpster off. No, that monkey. Alright, come on, let's keep moving. He was just going for that paper. He just needed something. Come on, go around him. Oh, he just coming up behind us. Who's coming up behind us? Oh, that monkey. What monkey? Oh, look, you can't even see him. He's like a statue. People don't even notice he's there. <laughs> they sit so still, you don't even see them. All right, come on. Keep moving, bud. Keep moving. This one has a baby on it. Aw. Hey, little baby. Oh, she's eating like a chicken sandwich. You can reach out. Oh, you see it? Oh, you can't pet him, Bobby. I'm sorry. All right, tell him bye. Bye. Bye, monkey. Daddy, even the spider monkeys are my friends. Oh, they're your friends too. So you got friends. You got pigeons as friends and monkeys as friends. You have a beautiful road. All the, all the animals in the world, even the zoo animals, are my friends. Yeah? That's yeah. awesome. You guys ready to come in? Oh my. I have booked a surprise for the kids, and we're going to go now and check it out and film their reaction. All right, kiddos, let's go. All right, you guys ready? Gentle, gentle. 
You got your overnight bag? You got it, bud? I got it. What do you have in that thing? It's my camping bag. <laughs> Why don't you guys teamwork? Okay, Good job. I'm so excited to camp. So we're staying here in Kuala Lumpur in an apartment building. It's on the 37th floor of this sky rise, which is pretty neat. It's got some cool views. The kids are excited. They think they're going camping. They came up with this plan this morning that they want to go camping. So that's what's on their minds. But Nicole does all the planning for us. And each city that we go to, she would like to book us like just one night stay at a really nice place. And that's become one of our things to do. So we're gonna take you guys along with us. We're gonna check out this Airbnb. We're gonna stay the night in and try to have a great day. The car's here. Car's here already? Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right, you got it, sis? You need some help. Uh, uh, Bobby. Here, let okay. me help you. Usually it takes a few minutes for a car to pick us up, but it, maybe this car was already dropping someone off and they're already here. Oh, awesome. That door opened by awesome. itself. Oh, I just found a range off. It's okay. We're going to be inside the car. Anyway, we're still camping there. How are you? Where did you get that fishing? Where did All you right, get let's those? Go. Much. You got it, sis? Alright. It does, huh? This does look like a hotel, but it's not a hotel, it's an Airbnb. We just gotta figure out how to get inside. Thank you. Oh, uh, that's the one actually lift for the lift. For the lift, okay. Thank you. Let's go check it out. <laughs> that's us, let's go. Hang on, guys. Come on, I'm up here. All right, you guys, you guys ready to come in? Oh, nice. Can we just come on the playground? Guys, we can go over there. We can go over there. Here, let's take our shoes off and go check it out. This place is awesome. It's like a little playground inside. Mommy, I'm going to go there. That's a cool bed, huh? Nice shot, bud. Nice shot, bud. Hang on, how do you get up there, sis? Oh, there you go. <laughs> She's so excited. All right, sis, let's check the bed out up here. Okay, <laughs> This is so cool. Oh, all right, I'm gonna be the first one to go down the slide. I got it. Oh, almost. I can try again. Never had a slide inside the home. Okay. Here we go. Oh, so Woo! Oh, yeah. It's better to you have your socks. Whoa. Bobby, Bobby, what about you always sleep like And then the we have the master bedroom. Obviously, Nicole and I will be sleeping here. Oh, look at this view, too. <laughs> Let's check out the bathroom. Daddy, the Daddy, it's okay. I can get it. Alright. Oh, wow. Let's check out the bathroom. Man. Oh, I was like, what? So this comes in from the kitchen. And this is the bathroom. It's one bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not really a bathtub. No, but... but but that will come next. <laughs> there's another surprise in a couple days. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So we'll be, we'll be staying here for one night and then we'll head back to where we're our home base and the towers that we left from earlier. 
But we're gonna enjoy the night here. We're gonna plan to go out and do some stuff if the weather will let, allow us, but it's not looking too good right now. Let's let's go have some fun. Oh. Cool Lego wall. It's awesome. You like it? <laughs> Woohoo! Woo! Yeah. This is the best day ever. Get paid out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, ten. and then got a skeleton you take to the fourth floor oh it's in the mall yep okay all right awesome thank you very much very thank nice you. to meet you have a great day see you too take care thank you. we're back at the mall i wasn't aware that the discovery center was inside the mall but it's up on the fourth floor we're gonna go check it out ready to go bud yeah. let's go So our driver told us to go straight, to go up the escalators to the fourth floor. But here we are, we can't find it anywhere. This place is huge. We're on the fourth floor, but no sign of the science center. Let's see if we can find it, sis. We're gonna follow this school. Maybe that's where they're going. Oh, yep. Here we go. Petrosane's Discovery Center. Found it. All right. Thank you. All right, we found it. We uh, pre-booked online. There's different slots that you can register online. We picked the 2.30 slot. We're just in time. We're here along with about 100 other kids. It looks like they got here at the same time as us. So this isn't gonna be extremely one-on-one, -on -one, but hopefully the kids can still interact with each of the stations and learn about some science. Sammy's obviously excited. This is pretty cool, so you get close to it without touching it, but it creates the music. She's got the power. Oh, there you go, that's cool. Get ready. Get it, bud. Oh, this is a tricky one. You make it some music, bud. Oh. What's that do, sis? Can you try it out? Alright sis, so let's check out your art. What do you think about it? Awesome. Let's just see what else there is. Alright, let's go. This is pretty cool. It uses your shadow as an interactive activity. <laughs> go get them, sis! I see, you got a little tool that you can use. There you go. Good job, bud.
Let's go check that out, bud. That looks fun. All right, you're next. There you go, pull it up. Good job, buddy. And then just let go of it. Yeah, good job. All right, sis is gonna try now. Oh, good job, sis. <laughs> you want to do this, sis? All right, so this one, you sit in a chair, and then you pull a rope, which spins these fans, and then it raises you up. Sis is going to see if she can do it herself. All right, Sammy, let's see those muscles. You going to do this one, bud? Buckle yourself in. Can you get it? Pull it hard. Can you get it? There you go. See those muscles, bud. Oh, there you go. Pull it hard. Oh. Can you get it, sis? Pull it. All right, I'm going to help out now. Pull. There we go. Teamwork. That's right. Ready? One, two, three, pull. Ah, there we go. That was pretty cool. Got to watch a little 3D movie. The kids were like trying to grab the stuff on the screen. It was pretty cool. We're going to go check out some more science stuff. Welcome to Better Science. We have many science galleries and activities. Go check it out, it's the moon. All right, I'm gonna put mine in here. Sawyer, you put yours in. Sammy, you got yours. On the count of three, we'll do it, okay? One, two, three. There it is. I don't even see it. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's stuck. That's how you brush your teeth in space. Is it cool? Push that yellow button there. There he is. Oh, and there's Sammy. <laughs> oh. I didn't know they had dinosaurs here, bud. Go ahead. Oh, they're fighting down there, bud. So we're here on a Tuesday afternoon. We thought that it would be pretty empty here, but we didn't factor in that schools come here on field trips, apparently. And there's probably, I don't know if I had to guess, four or five different classes here a couple hundred kids in attendance so it's been a very busy day but it's been fun it's, it's a great place to come if you go that way you can see how the grass grows this place was really cool it wasn't extremely expensive like 25 bucks for all of us to get in and spend a couple of hours and they got some really cool exhibits to check out and the kids got to learn a lot this is the world's largest hotel in the sky 
that Nicole has booked this getaway. It's about an hour ride outside the city here. I have no idea what she's booked. It's a complete surprise, but it's my birthday tomorrow, so excited to celebrate with the family. Excited to see what she's got in store for us here. About to grab a grab car and head on over to wherever we're going. Not sure where it's at yet, uh, but we'll see you there. Power one. We made it. We've gone up a mountain, down a mountain, around a mountain, and now we're somewhere in the clouds. <laughs> Mid Hills at Genting. Alright. We're gonna grab our key from the mailbox and then find our way up to the room. We're no longer in Kuala Lumpur. It's called Genting Island. At least from what I've been able to see on the way up. It feels good here though. Floor 14, we're all the way up. stuff off in the room. We're gonna head into town real quick. We need to pick up some necessities like coffee and a few groceries for the morning. Come on, you're gonna miss the elevator. So we're pretty remote now. This is a small mountain town. I wasn't sure if grab was gonna work or not, but seems like it's not gonna be a problem. Cole's calling for a grab now, and then we're gonna head on over. Push it. So we go over here and wait for the car, guys. It's pretty cool up here. We're in the mountains. There's green hills everywhere. All right, here's our ride, guys. Oh, I gotta wear my glasses. Come on, let's jump in. Hello. Let's go, Bubba. All right, we've made it to Ginting Highlands Premium Outlet Mall. This sits up on the top of the mountain. There's all kinds of stores, just like you would expect at any outlet mall. Well, we're not here for clothes. We're not here for shopping, really. Wow, look at that view. We're here to just pick up some groceries. Probably could have went somewhere else, but this is where we're going for now. I just saw Baskin Robbins. Uh-oh, so maybe we'll get some dessert. Wow, this place is huge. Look, there's a big teddy bear. There is a kid's playground here, too. There's a kid's play area. <laughs> the kids played one of these in Bangkok. They really liked them. Can you reach it? Nope. All right, get up there. Two hands. There you go, you got it? My hands are too slippery. All right, grab a hold of it. Now move. I can't. Yeah, you can, do it. Put your arm over there. No, to the Daddy, I'm about to let go. I got you. Put put your arm to the no, next one. No, I'm about to let go. Okay, let go, I got you. Let go, I got you. One of our missions here in the mountains has been to touch a cloud. The kids have obviously flown through them and they've seen it, but mommy and daddy have told them about our skydiving adventure and they have been excited to touch a cloud. And today we have that opportunity because the clouds have descended upon our Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> that whole thing. We can't really see anything. Yeah, we really can't see anything. Are we still going to the theme park? Yeah. I need a couch. Which is up there. 
Guys, we're going up there. Guys, we're going up there to the Bobby, theme park. Not, what does it feel like? It feels is it like warm? No, it no, feels like, like winter. Like winter? Is it fluffy? No. I can feel it. Oh, yeah, I see the cloud maker. The cloud maker. We're back at Genting Highlands Premium Outlets today, but we're not here to explore the outlet malls. We're here for the Sky Tram specifically. We're going to head up to First World Resort, which is the largest hotel in the world. And to get there, we got to go up on a Sky Tram all the way up the mountain. They have an indoor theme park. They have all kinds of cool places. We're going to go check it out. We're going to spend the day. We've even booked a room for the day. So we're going to show the you the largest hotel in the world. Are you guys ready to go? Yay! The Chen Sui Temple, it's a Buddhist temple that's about halfway up the mountain. We're going to stop there first. <laughs> Hopefully it's visible when we woke up this morning. We were literally in the clouds, uh, but it's been very cloudy and foggy this morning. Hopefully the temple is visible. If not, we'll probably head straight up. What are you guys doing? Sammy wants to put some meat. What are you going to get? I want bacon. Chicken? So we're just going to get some bacon to try as well. All right, sis, you gonna try it? I think it's pretty good. What's it taste like? Mm, I don't know, but it's pretty good. Oh, you like it? All right, good stuff. You need help with your spud? Yeah. Whoa, that's a big piece, bud. Yeah. <laughs> Toodle gone. How is it? Delicious. Can Delicious. I please try these? What do you think, sis? I think that one's You like that one better, or do you like your chicken thing better? My chicken thing better. Here, I'll, I'll try a piece. Let me bite it. That's mine, though. Mm. It's very flavorful. Really good. Can you share that one? The one that Sammy picked is really good. I'm going to try the other one. Bobby. It's pretty good, too. The chicken one is really good, though. We're going to buy a couple more of those because Soria really likes it. Can you, can you get one Some protein. Protein. Now we're going to head up to the temple. First, we got to go all the way up to the top. There's like four sets of escalators. Sis wants to race. She's taking the stairs. We're taking the escalator. She's cheating. You're cheating, sis. Hello, little lady. Hello. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. So we're going to try to get off at the temple, but it is still really cloudy outside. You can't see anything out the windows. You ready to go? It be so much fun. All right, this is us. On your skyway, you're hopping through the clouds. Standing a distance. Oh, guys, we're going in the clouds. We all sure are going through the clouds. We're going to go through that cloud system. The cloud is wet. The cloud's wet. We're going to skip the temple for now, guys, because we're not going to be able to see anything. We'll try to... We get to go to the theme park. Yeah, we'll try to... the Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Park and the arcade. We'll try to catch the temple on the way back oh, down, maybe. Oh, just go down here. You can feel, you can feel the cloud down here. Oh, wow. It's too cloudy to see anything at the temple right now, so we're going to skip it. We're going to go all the way up to the resort, and then we'll try to catch the temple later on. You can see a little bit out there. Oh, yeah, even the cars. Now we're getting higher. It's getting a little bit. Oh, there's the temple. You can barely see it. Oh, yeah, sis. Oh, yeah. Temple. It's like, it looks like it's cut off. You can see it. Daddy, we have owl eyes can zoom, and they have very much thing. Well, they zoom can... your owl eyes oh. on the temple over there. Owl eyes. Owl eyes. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the clue of the wind. We got boy eyes. What do you think, babe? You want to get off? Or? Yeah. Yeah. You want to get off? OK. We're, we're going to jump off and check it out. All the way up, it looks a little clear, but we'll see. You want to go check out the temple? No. Go, go, go. 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 Thank you. The sun's popping out. 
it's clearing up. There's still a lot of clouds around us, but I think it's going to be clear enough for us to see. Right, I'm glad we jumped off. Let's check it out. Ready to go check it out, bud? So we've come down like five or six sets of escalators. There's more to go down. We're, we're going back down into the clouds. So maybe this wasn't the best idea. All right, last set of escalators, I think, guys. Let's see. Can you see the temple? <laughs> Neither can I. It's right there, but you can't really see it. I don't know what changed from where we were at down to here, but you can't really see it now. All right, so up these stairs apparently is Monkey King. You know, check the Monkey King out. Oh, there he is. It is the actual Monkey King. It's like from the movie, guys. He's got a stick. It's the Monkey King, bud. It's Monkey King, yeah. This is cool. That's a cool spider web, huh? It actually looks pretty cool in the clouds. Different perspective. This is all free admission with your SkyTram ticket. Pretty neat. I want the hand. Daddy, look. Cleaning the statue. This is after, that's before. Wow, done a good job. There's a huge sitting Buddha over there. We're gonna try to make our way down here to get a better view of it. But first we gotta go down this way. I got you, sis, come on. Okay. <laughs> These are very steep stairs. Good job. Good job, very, guys. Very. I feel like we're in a movie. Oh, wow, look, oh, that's pretty huge. Let's go check it out. Are you scared? No. We walked down, I wasn't even aware of it, but there's the journey to enlightenment that comes all the way through here and all the way up the side of the mountain there. And then over there is the sitting Buddha that we were just at. Temples over behind this. And this is the Gautong Hall. So we're, we've gotten into an elevator and we're just going down. We're not sure exactly where it takes us, but the view is cool. I think that is where we're at now. Oh yeah, let's go check it out. That's part of their offerings. This is the Chin Sui Hall. Wow. There are these, I don't know what they are, but there's a, little slot for each day of the year. Not sure what it's for though. What's up there, sis? Oh, this is the cave. Oh, it just leads us to a door that's locked. That was really cool. I'm glad we went in and checked it out. We got to see the Chin Sui Cave Temple, which was awesome. I can't capture the experience in video, obviously, but I try to share it with you guys. But just being here is it's epic. Sawyer and I are racing Nicole and Sammy down. They took the stairs. We took the escalator. I think they're going to beat us. Now we're heading over to the Buddha Temple, which I think is pretty much the main temple here. It's the big tall one. We'll see what it's like. And they beat us. You guys are in the clouds. Get some shops here. And then here's the temple. Something smells amazing. I don't know, there's a couple of shops here. There's a restaurant there, it must be that. Something smells so good. We've reached the entrance of the temple. So there's a spiral staircase that leads, I'm assuming all the way up. Let's see if the kids are up for it. You guys wanna go up the stairs? Yeah. Are you up for it? All right, let's go. Bud, should we go all the way up? More hazelnuts? Yeah, you like them? Yeah. Excellent. Whew. All right, we're not all the way up. There's more stairs. There's a little outlook area here. 
You caught a cloud. Put it in my pocket. I got a cloud in my pocket. Still can't see much. I wonder if it's gonna be like this all day. Let's make our whip some more. Let's go, sis. All right, are we at the top? Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Let's go up. Got more? All right, let's go. You can do this, sis. You guys good? Good job. Level six. I don't know how many levels there are. This might be it. <laughs> Level seven. There's a lot. You're doing great. There's the cable cars. That's where they're going. All the way up into the clouds. And that's where we'll be heading after this. But first, we got to get to the top. So let's go. It's, everything is slippery. Everything is wet from the clouds. All right, ready to go up? Level eight. <laughs> oh, I think I see the top. So nine levels. Good job, guys. You made it. Feel my cloud? Yeah. You feel your cloud? Oh, it's, it's cold and wet. I still can't see much, obviously. Well, we made it all the way up. Now we're going back to there. Now we're gonna make our way all the way down. Yeah. You ready, bud? All right, here we go. All right, watch your step. And now that we're done here, <laughs> it's cleared up a lot. You can see the temple really well now. Are you guys ready for top speed? Yeah, top speed! I wish this speed was forever. <gasps> This is the world's largest hotel in the sky. We've made our way up. We are now at First World Resort. We took the Sky Tram all the way up, which was pretty cool. You get to see a lot. We're gonna go get checked in, go check out our room, and then we're gonna go to the theme park. But first, we are gonna go find some food. There are tons of restaurant options here on the Skywalk, and we've settled on Highline. Uh, they got a pretty decent menu selection. We've gone with some protein for this afternoon. Enjoy, guys. Bye. Enjoy, too. Enjoy, darling. Thank you. That was absolutely delicious. We're going to go get our room now. Then we're going to go have some fun. So we made our way down to the lobby. We had to come all the way down. And now we're getting checked in. This place is incredible. It's like its own little city. We walk through, and there's just so much stuff to do indoor theme park, there's an outdoor theme park, it's the largest hotel in the world, there's tons of restaurants, there's a casino, there's a whole shopping plaza, it's got everything. I mean, we've attempted the self-check-in kiosk. Unfortunately, we left our passports over in Kuala Lumpur, short trip. Didn't think we'd need our passports, but I guess it's a good idea to always travel with your passports. Because uh, you need a passport to use the self-check-in kiosk. So now Nicole is waiting in line at the counter. Uh, they have a interesting policy where you have to pay 15 ringgit just to approach the counter. Uh, and then she's got to find out if we can actually check in or not without uh, our physical passports. She has pictures of our passports on her phone, but I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough. So we'll have to wait and see what they say. We might not get to go to a room after all. Nicole's coming now. Let's see what they said. Yeah? Yeah. Thankfully, I didn't end up having to show my passport. The copy of my passport and a combination of my actual driver's license worked. We're all checked in and ready to go find the room, which will probably take another hour. <laughs> all right, we're floor 27, tower two. Here we are, floor 27 of tower two, the first world hotel. One of 7,000 some odd rooms. <laughs> 7,351 rooms in the world's largest hotel. It's kind of old. Let's see how it looks inside. Very simple, but only $16 a night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quick view of the room. There's uh, two double beds, a very small TV, a little desk with a mirror, small refrigerator, a safe, 
this uh, fan, and the bathroom with the standard toilet and a shower. Comes with two kids. <laughs> All right, come on guys, let's get ready. We're gonna go down. That was just basically to drop our stuff off while we're here and we don't have to carry it around. And we wanted to check out what the rooms are like. The basic one, which is very affordable, $16 for the night, a bed, a TV, a bathroom, but very affordable. All right, making our way back down. Gotta go back through the lobby. Then we gotta go up one floor to the theme park. There's a huge monkey. Let's go have some fun! Check this place out. There's a lot of rides here for kids. Some of them, Sawyer is a little too short, so we won't get to ride those. But we've bought a package online that gives us access to ride a bunch of rides. And they got tons of games that we can play. So we might play some games, try to win some animals. They've got Sky VR. They've got these rooms where you can sit and play gaming consoles. You guys ready? Looks like we're doing the balloon race. I think we can all four fit on this one together. Oh cool, so these little wristbands we got, we scan those. There's uh, four or five more attractions upstairs, like a Ripley's Believe It or Not, a Jurassic World all kinds of other stuff that we're gonna check out as well. Are you okay to stay in here, babe? For now. Guys, we're all gonna spin on the Spin us, bud? No, so Nicole and so I had to switch us. because I guess there's a weight distribution. We are all gonna spin it. When it's let's not, hey guys, let's not make mommy throw up though, okay? Here we go. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we're turning. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I stop so mommy doesn't feel good. What's wrong? I don't know if I'll be able to get on any Maybe I'll stop with the That's enough, sis. That's enough. No, 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 guys. <laughs> 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 Mommy's going to puke, so watch out. Come on. <laughs> Keep holding it like straight. It's stopping. All right. We're helping you, Mommy. Woo! The kids were spinning us around and around and around. Were you not dizzy, sis? No, just one but, more. Sorry, were you not dizzy? No. Stop spinning. All right. We survived. You want to go say hi to the frog? Sky Towers. The first one looks kind of boring, so we're not going to do that one. Yep, you're tall enough. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I didn't even have to turn it on downstairs. This is more fun. We are going again. <laughs> Very terrified at first, but then I, but then it was it's much, much funner. Did you get that feeling in your belly? Yeah, it was so for so long. That was pretty cool. Sora and I got to catch a little sh impromptu show there while Nicole and Sammy went to go use the bathroom. That was pretty cool. Sora enjoyed it.
part of the package that we bought has unlimited rides while we're here. Unfortunately, there are a couple of rides that we wanted to ride that are closed today, so we don't get to ride those. Like this one up here that's floating around. That one looks pretty cool, but it's closed, unfortunately. There's several more kids' rides that the kids can ride, so we're gonna let them ride around a little bit. Hi, guys. Sis, you got this. Good try, sis. Sammy tried to win one of these giant unicorns, but she was unable to knock the cans over now. Sawyer's gonna try it. Oh, good try, bud. One more. Oh, almost. Good job. Sorry, sis. I didn't win. A nice chocolate waffle kiss. We've made our way all the way back up to the top for our next adventure here, which is the Jurassic Research Center. They have real life-like dinosaurs, supposedly like the most realistic dinosaurs at any park. So I'm excited for the kids to see this. Sawyer's gonna freak out. They have real dinosaurs here. Real, real, di no, real no, dinosaurs. What's this guy doing? <laughs> Gigantoraptor. That is a long necky. We just got to check out the Jurassic Research Center, which was pretty cool. Got some cool dinosaur replicas in there, some fossils to check out. The kids enjoyed it. Now we're gonna go to a 4D trick art museum, which sounds pretty neat. But they've got all kinds of cool stuff here. There's Ripley's Believe It or Not. There's a Formula Fun where you can race cars. There's all kinds of arcade games, all kinds of little rides, toy stores, restaurants. There's these awesome rides that you can ride. I would ride one of those. But unfortunately, it's already 6 p.m. We're almost out of time. So we're gonna, we're gonna hurry up, spend the rest of our time here enjoying ourselves. But this place is amazing. I'm so glad that Nicole booked this for my birthday. It was such a great birthday. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.